In this video, I will show you how to reset your Roblox account password without an email address. And this is currently working still in 2022. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come across to roblox.com and you want to come across to the login page. So you want to come across to roblox.com forward slash login. From here, you're going to see the login screen. And what you can do is basically click underneath forgot password or username. So what you can do, as I say, if you have got your email address, simply just enter the email address like so to reset your password. If you do not have your email address, you do actually have the option to use your phone number to reset the password. However, you need to make sure that that phone number was registered to your account. So you can't just put in any old phone number. You need to make sure that's linked to your account so you can reset your password. So what you would do from here is basically enter your number of course, I'm blowing mine out for security reasons, and you would just simply hit the submit button. So after a second or two, that's going to go through and it's going to send a code to your phone. Now, what you would do is enter that code in here. It's a six digit code. And then you would click the verify button when that highlights. Obviously, I'm not going to do this because I don't need to. But you would go ahead and do that. And then you would be able to go ahead and reset your password. Now, if you don't actually have a phone number linked to your account, what you will need to do is contact the Roblox support team and they will help you gain access back into your account. They will just run through some security questions and should help you gain access back into your account. But as I say, if you do have a phone number linked to your account, you can use this to actually change and reset your password if you do not have your email address or do not remember what email address you used to sign up. So I hope this video helped you out today and if it did, I'd really appreciate if you gave the video a like and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.